But I apologize if we had a few gremlins there. And James says that we managed to defeat them. Well, I would imagine I don't didn't really do anything. Maybe it was Seb on the back that just did a little karate chop and got rid of them. But how cool is this? There's a whole herd of elephants is now starting to come into the water. And I'm sure we're going to get a very playful group that's going to have the best swim ever. It's hot, it's warm, and it is perfect conditions for a group of elephants to have the most fun in a water hole. Now, I'm sure it's the same group of Ellies that we had this morning. The reason why is that their tracks go here and then they cross south, and these elephants have come from the south back north again. So what I think they've done is they've just fed along the Mulawati, used the shade, and now they're coming back into this area to be able to have a really good bath. You can see, look how they sit down. Even the big adults, they sit there and they get completely in so that they can cover themselves and try and cool that body down as quick as possible. It always looks as though they have the most fun when they swim like this. And we haven't had too many big herds of swimming ellies. We've had lots of males, but not too many of the big ones. You can see the little one is on top of mom. <laughs> how cool. You guys are all f too much of fun. This is the most special thing to watch when Ellie's swim like this. I absolutely love it. And you can see more and more and more of them are arriving. They're starting to come over from the back end there. There's some coming over the dam wall and they're slowly but surely filtering in. There's one or two that are being chased away by some of the naughty males. There comes another one. In it gets. Justin, you're wondering if elephants sink or float? Well, Justin, they will probably, for the most part, they do sink. So in deep water, if they wanted to, they would sink. But if they take a deep breath like us as humans, there would be enough air in those lungs to be able to allow them to actually be somewhat buoyant. But as the oxygen is cycled through the body, so they'll start to sink. The thing is, is ellies can swim. So ellies are able to swim if they want to. You'll find they'll be able to cross rivers and varying other things. And there's actually some incredible footage of Indian elephants swimming or Asian elephants swimming across some of those river channels in, in that part of the world. And I would imagine our Ellie's were just as good at that. What I've noticed here though in this part of the world is most of our elephants don't actually swim. They try and just walk along the bottom and they just flop down where they want to. So they try to stay in areas that are shallow enough that they can flap down. Charles, you're saying, yay, I am the elephant whisperer. Well, I don't know about that. I think I've just been getting lucky, and it's more just to do with the fact that we've had the most amazing weather conditions for elephants. So it's been warm, which means that ellies spend a lot of time around water, and so we just check the water holes, and luckily enough, the ellies are there. So it's more the ellies doing all the work. I've just been lucky at being in the right place at the right time, and that's how it works out here, is that sometimes you will have these weeks where you just have ellies abounding all over the place, and you've got to be sort of in the right like I say right place right, right time and you get lucky and you get to see sightings like this so it's not really just me it's just it's just the fact that we got the right road and at the right time of day but that brings me on to our challenge that I have with Brent now I feel like I've been sold down the river slightly by Brent Leo Smith because he says that we have inside information here that is true of some of the sightings but not all of them we most certainly have tracked our own fair share of leopards this week and well Brent Leo Smith I think you're about 12 down in the week that you've been away I don't know how many leopard sightings we've had this week but I can tell you it's a lot more than what you've had while you were at the not been too bad this week as well not that they compared to the Mara and as for inside info I'm pretty sure that you guys get your own amount of inside information through varying sources there particularly with the Cheetah Brothers with a collar on the one of them so I think it's all fair is fair, and we most certainly, I think he's just a little jealous of the fact that he can't get off his vehicle and track like we can here, and he's missing tracking the leopards of Juma. That's what I actually think it's all about, but most certainly Ben's got a long way to go to catch up if he wants to get to the same number of leopards that we've seen by the end of this week. Okay. <laughs> so, you <laughs> You might, might be forgiven to thinking that that was a fire siren going off in the background, but it wasn't. It's a little one that wanted to suckle, and Mom decided to move off, and the little one was most upset that Mom has thought about even thinking that this little one was done drinking, and so has made a bit of a noise about it. 
Oh, you guys are having the best time. Oh, she's still going. Poor mom is having to sit in the sun and suckle this little one because it's just not taking no for an answer. <laughs> I just love it when the young males get into the water because that's when it really gets quite chaotic. They have the best, best time. <laughs> Somebody is very grumpy. <laughs> that is what is called temper tantrum. And what happens, I'm sure Seb, you'll attest to this, when kids get hungry, they start to complain a little bit, particularly when they're babies. Yes, so our little elephant is <laughs> having a little temper tantrum behind us. Of course, these guys are not perturbed in any way. They're still busy swimming at this stage. What are you doing on your knees now? This is so cool. <laughs> it's the best thing when we get Ellie's making noises around us. I love the sounds that they make. You can see that they have a very, very broad array of vocalizing that they can do. You can, you'll hear trumpets and squeaks and grumbles and all kinds of sounds as they try and communicate with one another. So. It's quite cool just to be in amongst them. And we've had such a good display of their audio over the last few um, few weeks. We've had some crazy sightings with lots and lots of different noises coming from the Ellie's, from, like I say, the grumbles to the squeaks and all the other kinds of sounds that they make. Now, Ellie, you're wondering if our Ellie's will be able to breathe with their trunks when they're underwater so that the, basically the trunk acts like a snorkel. Most definitely, Ali, they do use that regularly as a snorkel. So they will basically put their trunk up when they're underwater and that allows them to breathe and to play around. And you see it particularly with when they go into places like Chitra Dam, it's quite deep. You'll see them go right under and just a trunk sticking up. And the place that I've seen it the most is actually at Chobe National Park where they swim across the rivers there and so they'll go so deep that all you can see is this tiny little trunk sticking out of the water source as they breathe and walk their way along to the islands that are there that are covered in grass and that's what they're after. But look at how white and clean his tusks are now. They're almost so bright that they're overexposing on the camera in comparison to the dark skin that's all wet. So it's always cool when you see Ellie's that have swum there tusks are bright and clean and white and their skin is dark and the contrast between the two is always very look cool to have a look at right i think now that our ellies have stopped swimming i'm going to try and just turn and follow them around because it seems as though they're going to go and have a little bit of a feed so we might as well just keep up with the herd i don't think any of the others are going to come down to dr drink or swim the rest of them are on the road there it looks as though they're actually going towards Treehouse Dam, as though they're doing dam hopping this afternoon. I wonder if maybe that's a thing in the elephant world. So instead of going to different clubs, you go to different water holes as an elephant. Maybe that's, like I say, a thing for them. Now, ah, there's a giraffe as well. That's cool. There we go. So we've got an elephant herd with a very tall friend that is attached to them at the moment. as 